Hi, it's Maria from the Gratitude Attitude, and today I'm going to tell you about an amazing road trip we took with our tag. We went 4,000 miles from New York State to Texas to Florida and back home again. Well, we always wondered if we would ever take that really big road trip, and this year we did. We traveled from New York State to Austin, Texas to see our children and grandchildren. My basil and parsley seedlings came with us too. Our first stop was Shenandoah River State Park. Look at our tag, tagging along so smoothly. Anyway, here's the park. It was beautiful. We were surrounded by mountains and hills, the Shenandoah River flowed alongside us, and although every campsite had electric, there was no cell service. We actually had to climb one of the hills to let our kids know that we arrived. So if you ever go there, I suggest you call family a few minutes before arrival to let them know you're almost there. The next day we were onward to Tennessee. We followed alongside the mountains and hills, they were just beautiful, and arrived at Edgar Evans State Park. Now when I was booking this campsite, I noticed that there were docks, decks, so to speak, right alongside the lake. And I recalled a wonderful YouTube video that I had seen by Mike Foster from Camp and Camera, and how he and his wife Joanne had camped on a porch. And it certainly was the same place. I also appreciate the advice he gave us on how to get back on the road. Our daughter and son-in-law also stayed at Edgar Evans State Park when they were traveling from Austin up to New York State. I think someday Edgar Evans State Park will be a halfway point for our families. Won't that be just great? The Tennessee Visitor Center was so wonderful. It was clean, the people were friendly, and there was so much room for us to walk around and have a light lunch and get back on our way, feeling very refreshed. We passed by St. Jude's and a big Bass Pro Shop, also the I-40 Bridge, which, which apparently was closed for a little while afterwards. We headed to Lake Catherine State Park, where there was some severe weather expected. We still enjoyed a beautiful evening, but then the storm came, and it was pretty intense. Well, we made it through the night, and the next day we were onward to Texas. We stayed at Fort Parker State Park, which has the beautiful Lake Fort Parker, made by the dam at the Navasota River. The place was beautiful. We had uh, electric, beautiful wildlife, and really friendly host and hostess. I have to say, we owe a lot to the Civilian Conservation Corps for creating such wonderful state parks all over the country. Well, we're almost there, but first, let's stop at Waco to visit Magnolia Market. On our way, we pass lots of wind farms. These sprawling Texas flatlands are the perfect place for these giant wind turbines. And there are the very famous Magnolia silos. And although I had been there before, it's always a joy to visit Magnolia Market. And how fitting is this quote on the door for what we were about to experience that day. After such a long year of waiting to see family, we made it. The hugs and the joy that we had in our hearts overflowed. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you have wonderful adventures and God bless you on your way.